In the last few years, I've just been bombarded with so much ads from HelloFresh that I thought I've got to check out what the fuss is all about. So this week, we're going to be your guinea pig and we're going to try out the HelloFresh box. Is it even worth it? This is by no means sponsored at all. This is going to be a brutally honest review. <laughs> our HelloFresh package and I'm so excited to see what is in here. Oh, okay. So we have one meal that totally fell apart. Meal number two and then meal number three. And I have no idea what this is. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so in here we have dairy things that need to be cool because I was wondering how they were going to ship things that need to be cooled. Apparently this weird gross looking pillow is the answer. So I'm already starving and for lunch we're going to make this mushroom ragu in this pastry type thing. And it all comes in a bag like this which is pretty handy. And I have to say the ingredients do look pretty fresh. It's just a shame that it is all packaged in so much plastic. <laughs> took us about an hour mm -hmm. even though the recipe said it only takes up to 40 minutes or 45 minutes so it wasn't difficult but it was quite elaborate the recipe I have to say I expected it to be easier mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. it's not bad I feel like it's a tiny bit weird that it's like a sauce but there's no rice to it somehow I want to add rice to this I don't know Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Salad looks good too. What do you think about this dish? Really tasty and I'm surprised that it's actually a lot of vegetables. I didn't expect that. In terms of taste I would give it four stars. In terms of overall health not because uh, the pastry dough and the cream and everything that's in it that's not that healthy. Today we're making HelloFresh for dinner and on the menu today we have oven baked pasta with a lot, a lot, a lot of cheese. And to be honest, I'm a little bit concerned with the amount of cheese. For those of you that don't know, we eat vegan pretty much maybe 98% of the time. And we definitely don't really eat dairy, so I'm a little bit concerned with the amount of dairy and cheese that is in this recipe. This is the amount of cheese we're going to have tonight. We have 100 grams of cream cheese, then shredded cheese, and then some type of parmesan. This is quite a lot of cheese. This is so much cheese that you can't even see the pasta underneath anymore. This is all the trash that we've accumulated after one meal. So this dish didn't wasn't as complicated as the last one and didn't take as long 
was pretty straightforward but i do have to say that this dish barely has any veggies it has tomatoes dried and fresh and that's it and it doesn't have a lot of fiber because it's just white pasta with a ton of cheese but i'm curious to see how this tastes it does smell really good i have to say mm. i have to say it's good but it's not blowing me away but it's not as grossly cheesy as i expected it to be it's really tasty but i would criticize that criticize that it's not enough veggies definitely a cheat meal so not something you should eat on a regular basis but it's really tasty it's time for dinner and it's the last HelloFresh meal and today on the menu we have a vegan Masaman Thai curry which I'm super intrigued about. This is the only vegan meal of this HelloFresh plan. curry is done it wasn't overly complicated and we didn't take too long the only weird thing i have to say is that according to hellofresh you're supposed to eat this without any rice but we thought this was weird since this is supposed to be a curry so we added some rice to it but because i'm because we're doing a hellofresh review i'm going to only taste the curry by itself hmm the curry is really good but I would still critique that this is weird without any rice. Um, so I don't know what they thought when they planned this recipe. But the curry itself is really good. I think this is my favorite so far. It is quite similar to the curries we usually used to make. It also had plenty of vegetables and it was vegan. So I really liked it. The only thing I don't like about this dish is was that it's quite high in salt. But other than that, I really liked it. I'm going to start with what I really liked about this box. So first thing was that a lot of the packaging, especially if it was paper packaging, it was recycled. I expected there to be more waste there. Don't get me wrong, there was quite a lot of waste, but I expected it to be more or worse. Then something else I really liked is that at least with our box, all the vegetables were really, really fresh. I was really impressed by that. Then the number one thing that makes HelloFresh so cool is that it is really convenient so you don't have to think about what you're going to cook what ingredients you need what you already have and um, when you're going to go grocery shopping it is all kind of done for you and also another thing that surprised me positively were, was that the portions were really big or they were big enough for someone like me and i would consider myself not a very small eater sometimes we even felt really really full afterwards so the portions were definitely big enough let me talk about the things that i didn't enjoy so much number one i kind of already mentioned is that there is so much packaging not only the box that it comes in but because everything is already kind of measured out and single serve there were so many single serve packages and it just adds up to a lot of packaging and a lot of trash then number two is that it's not organic my boyfriend and i do eat organic ex pretty much exclusively so this was kind of like an, a downgrade for us then also i wouldn't consider the recipes or the ingredients of the box super healthy well they weren't very unhealthy but they weren't great either for one it was not vegan there was no vegan option so having so much cheese and animal fat and dairy was also kind of like a downgrade for us but not only that, even if you look at the ingredients list of specific pre-packaged things like the lentils or the coconut milk, a lot of the ingredients kind of had additives and things that are not great. And compared to that, when you go to the supermarket, you can kind of pick and choose more of what you buy 
and what you avoid. But also in general, the salt content of the recipes was quite high. Let's talk about the price. So the price per serving varies how much you order. So for us, we ordered only for two people and only three meals. It was the least amount you could order, totaled up to 650 euros. And that is pretty expensive. With 650 in Europe, you can get maybe a margarita pizza in some places. For the fact that you have to cook everything yourself and then wash up the dishes, it is more on the expensive side, I would say. The more meals per week and also for more people, the cheaper it gets. And I think it goes all the way to four euros per serving, which is definitely way cheaper, but not super super cheap then something else I was worried about is how are they going to keep the ingredients cool since they ship it normally with UPS so you guys saw that the dairy the things that need to be cool they were actually in a kind of cool it looked like a gross pillow I was wondering how well that keeps things cool if it is for example summer now it's winter here in Germany so it's fine but if it's summer Packages do tend to get pretty hot, especially if they've been in the delivery car for quite some time. And that would definitely be a concern for me, especially if there's raw meat inside. Also anticipated the recipes to be a little simpler. They were a little bit more on the elaborate side, especially considering that this is marketed towards people who don't really have the time or energy to go shopping and think about foods they want to Eat. Now when it comes to the taste of the recipes, I thought they were just fine. My favorite was definitely the curry, that one I really enjoyed. But in general the recipes were good, they tasted good, but it was nothing out of this world. I've definitely made tastier dishes from recipes for free that I found online. So in general I wouldn't recommend this service to people who are for one health friendly but also environmentally friendly. I, I don't see this as a fit for them but I can see this plan or this kit work for people who say they have absolutely no time and no energy to think about what they're going to eat and if they didn't have this meal kit then they would resort to eating pre-made frozen foods then i would say this is more healthy because this does have fresh vegetables and things like that but i would in general encourage those people to set a little bit of extra time aside to plan out meals it doesn't have to be complicated meals and then set a little bit time aside to grocery shop because it is something that goes towards your health and it is a i would say skill that you need for the rest of your life you're going to be eating or wanting to eat healthy for the rest of your life let me know if you've tried out any sort of meal plan or meal kit how did you find it and did you like this kind of re review? Do you want me to review more things? Let me know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.